Okay, so I'm back now with the second, or actually the third part of this uh, rematch of this replay. Um, and we could see one storm going down on top of all of these <laughs> overlords. Now, I've got no idea why Xerxes actually moved all of his overlords with his army, but that doesn't matter right now. These uh, corruptors are actually overkill for these just to. Uh, Colossi, um, and we'll just have to look, s just play the play the game further and look, wha see what's happening. Let's see this now. I'm not pre I'm predicting predicting a bad ending for for our Kratos uh, player here, although he's got a lot of Dark Templars, and uh, but there is an overseer. As I've said, there was no point. In, in actually keeping these Dark Templars uh, away from these guys. But oh my goodness, Zerkik is just getting bashed uh, with, with a load of, of storms and not moving out. He ended up losing a lot of units. Just another storm right there going to finish off a couple of more uh, um, Hydras. But at the same time, the main army for, from Gently was destroyed. If we look at the units lost count, we've got 20,000 uh, 20, uh, resources lost for Gently compared to uh, Zerkikus, just Zerkikus is just 16,600. And doing that again, warping in units just as your army, uh, just as the enemy is coming in, some cells to deal with these uh, roaches, but they are no match for these Hydras and roaches. And at the same time, Zerkikus is still moving around with his overlords. Now, if I were a good Protoss player, I would just uh, do my best to kill as many overlords as I possibly can because this would normally supply a block uh, the Zerk player at this point. Also, from the Zerk player, we see um, flyer attack level 2 and level 3 carapace and missile attack coming down right here while the first the level one upgrades for the ground army for the prosper are just now coming on finally these uh, these zealots here are able to take care of these uh, of those of those um, remaining hydralisks and roaches and this whole bunch this whole flock of overlords is going to go back home this is quite annoying and uh, I'm actually Zerki if you're watching this please don't do that again you you really need to be you know, to, to take care of your overlords a bit more because uh, a Protoss player that would have massed stalkers could have done an immense, uh, uh, great damage, great deal of damage to your overlords overall. And uh, okay, let's let's see what's what's going on, uh, and uh, in the maps, looks like at the same time this expansion over here got taken out, and I actually missed that one. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, hopefully you guys have seen something in the replay when I wasn't paying attention, which is quite hard to pay attention, especially considering the fact that uh, there are so many s things to do around the house and uh, I can't even get half a half an hour free and oh my goodness, five or six probes, just how many probes? Actually just five five probes on this gas right here a bit of a missed micro there for gently but gently is at this point sitting on the better economy and Zergikis really needs to move out uh, mass links to take out this expansion would be a good idea because it is basically undefended but also getting this this high yield expansion would be the best option for him right now <coughs> And if we look at the at this right here, it looks like all the units are getting destroyed. It's just hit points by can I disable them? No, not from here, but it doesn't matter. It's not important. Wow my goodness. A couple of storms going down, killing mass amounts of, of Zerglings. Uh, but uh, this expansion was effectively taken down. And if we look at the number of probes that got killed and look at this, warping in more units at the site of the battle. Now, I'm generally against this, so if, if you are doing this then you might be a redneck. Um, and hopefully my clan mates won't be too mad on, on me uh, because I've been bashing on them. But look at the, the, the number of harvesters lo lost for Gently right there. Right now he's at 25 harvesters and he used to have 65 or 64, I don't remember exactly, I forgot. Uh, 
production wise we just see mass mass learnings coming in from Zerki and this lo these loads of overloads just sit sitting here doing nothing while at the same time he's just getting the upgrades and also uh, gently opting for some upgrades to 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 for his ground army both armor shields and weapons upgrades while um, Zerki just has two armor and two attack two ranged attack for his ground units while one flying upgrade for his uh, flyers of course flying attack upgrade also upgrades are just about to finish right here looks like gently is looking to do some more damage if possible now what he needs to do right now is starve the starve the the, the third player of, of, of minerals and that is by killing because if you see uh, Zerk is sitting on 2800 gas which he isn't actually using to its full benefits as he is just producing right now uh, as many uh, zerglings and, and roaches as possible looking at the army counts uh, Zerki is already ahead with 132 supply over 82 uh, from uh, from Aaron the okay let me just tell him casting your game your boring game <laughs> Let me just tell him that because nothing is going on anyway. Uh, looks like Zerki is going to be moving out and try to do as much economical uh, damage as possible. Looking at the income, um, gently was catching up but not enough. And oh, these these roaches getting caught off guard right here, and a lot of storms going on top of them, and. Okay, um, this looks like a fair exchange. Okay, a couple of more uh, storms, but obviously storms aren't, aren't going to do diddly squat against against uh, uh, roaches, which roaches are quite resistant. You need, uh, especially with, with the free armor upgrade, I guess you need like 5 to 7 storms to properly kill them. So a couple of uh, Archons coming out right here, one just barely hanging on to its life as those roaches were able to do it, a lot of damage but the nexus goes down which is the most important bit as right now gently will be starting to get starved of minerals as he's not mining he's just mining off of one base whereas uh, Zerki is fully fully mining off of this second expo and probably will be looking to saturate this call expansion as well okay so at this point gently is just I think he's just going, okay, I need to take out this, this gold right here as soon as possible or else I'm done. And uh, production wise, we're seeing burrow and tunneling cloth for, for the roaches. I mean, dude, come on. You've got so many, g such such a uh, large gas deposit at this point if you would have gone, for example, because you've still got the... Yeah, you've still got the, the seven corruptors. If you would have just went for three or four brood lords gently would have had almost no chance no no practical chance of 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 beating them because of the fact that he's actually taking uh charge lots and and storms which storms do some damage to brood lords but definitely not enough yeah charge lots and and storms i mean seriously both gently and zarkikis are actually uh screwing it up right now because <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. Our Zerg player right here should have gone for some Brood Lords while our, our uh, gen uh, Gently our, our Protoss should have actually... If he had Dark Templar DTs, he should have taken more DTs than he did. And these roaches wisely uh, uh, burrowing and, and crawling out of there. Okay, a couple of storms going but uh, not hitting their targets or their designated targets. And only one roach coming in from Zergikus, which is actually really interesting. I mean, dude, you've got a shitload of gas and right now some minerals as well, and you're still making roaches. Um, I'm not saying that roaches aren't good against this army composition right here, but they're not the best either. And gently still taking, coming in with salads that are 2-2-2 upgraded, but the 3-3 upgrades on these roaches are definitely a bit better.
and the fact that they can now burrow and there is no observer on the on the on the field for gently is uh, absolutely demolishing okay so Zerki is looks like he's okay there is one observer over here sorry I actually missed that guy so it looks like looking it looks like uh, Zerki is coming out with 15 more uh, more roaches and he's sitting on how many 13 right now yeah 13 roaches with 15 22 roaches in, oh that's going to be a whole lot of roaches which might be able to actually steamroll gently who is still going with uh, well at this point nothing but he, he was still going with zealots and 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 high templars and regarding the mineral lost the minerals lost the resources lost resources lost for both players uh, we can clearly see that Gently is behind, although he was able to actually kill this, deny this expansion right here and harass this one, but uh, income wise we can clearly see the, the, the abrupt difference and now what it looks to be like the final battle is coming down, one storm going on top, two storms but it, they, ju they are just barely doing damage, three storms are barely able to get those uh, roaches to half of their life so probably three or even seven storms would have been necessary uh, for them to take out the, uh, <coughs> for those roaches to actually uh, have been taken out okay so at this point I can see no chance for gently as he obviously takes the wrong the wrong units in this situation he should have gone for some more DT harass he should have gone for maybe some uh, a bit more uh, void rays maybe void rays would, void rays would have been good and there's a GG right there. okay so I'm not I'm not gonna be a, a mess about this but uh, basically both players were kind of um, late into doing her into, into harassing they weren't actually as active as they should have been and uh, yeah basically there were a lot of opportunities for both players um, but they, but neither, neither one of them actually took them and actually, you know, had the courage to go up and do as much economic damage as possible. So at this point, uh, I'm, I'm just going to say that um, I guess they, they, these two actually played with you no know, fearing one each other. Um, but I, all in all, it wasn't that bad of a game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, replay. I'm very sorry for the fact that uh, my computer is moving so badly and it's looking so badly, but. Uh, there's basically nothing that I can do. This, this is, these are the conditions that I have at home. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.